I think that uh, the people that often will be critical of bringing love or emotion um, into an account on the grounds that it is unscientific have often been schooled in a, a particular notion of science which could actually be seen to be spurious. That I like very much Peter Medawar's critique of his friend Karl Popper where um, so Peter Medawar says um, his central problem with the hypothetical system of science is uh, its disavowal to speak of the creative episodes in a scientific inquiry. Uh, and Popper leaves out these creative episodes and Medawar is saying, look, these are vital for scientific inquiry. And it's the same with education, that I'm saying that emotion and values, energy in particular, life-enhancing energy, is central to education. Now, if you take John Dewey's notion of a scientific inquiry, it has, in my mind, the same form as an action-reflection cycle, that you work at a concern, and if the concern is there is not actually sufficient love being expressed in this context, and then you imagine what to do, and you act on this and evaluate it in relation to appropriate standards of judgment for actually a loving experience and relationship, then that, for me, is scientific in the way that I bring in very rigorous forms of validation in terms of evidential basis uh, of Habermas's so criteria of social validity. So I insist that you can be scientific in relation to both love and emotion, especially this sense of energy with values. Uh, I think people are being unscientific if they don't bring these qualities into their accounts.